Hey everybody, Ira Miller here with the Ira Miller Podcast. And we are in association with I Am Realty and Homes Around the Village's YouTube channel. So I want to thank you for joining our podcast today. We have a special guest with us, Jason Gallagher. So Jason is, uh, he graciously uh, accepted our invitation to <laughs> come do a podcast with us because um, Jason went ahead and actually purchased a home from me uh, just right through the video. Yeah. So Jason, why don't you tell, why don't you tell our audience first um, how you came about calling me? Yeah, I've been watching your videos. My wife, uh, Karen, and I have been watching your videos for a long time. Um, and you're, you're an entertaining guy. I, I, we, we really, and, and there's just a lot of information that, that you know, we, we learned because we've, um, we've, we've, we've come and stayed for a week or two here and, here and there just to, um, just to see where we might want to be and if we really want to be in the villages and everything. And so in doing so, we've been watching your videos and, and you know, it's been sort of directing us in a lot of ways. So, um, we weren't really planning on buying a house for another two years, as, like, like I mentioned to you. But this thing popped up. I don't know if my wife got an email or what she got, um, and it was it was a pretty good deal. And um, you know, she kept showing me houses that were 1.2, 1.3 million, and I'm just going <laughs> like, oh, whoa, I'm retire, you know. She showed me this one that said 4.99. I said, buy it. I don't care anything. So <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, I love it. It's beautiful. I like the colors and everything. So she said, you want to see it? Yeah. I said, yeah. Let, let me let me see it. She emailed it to me, and by the time she had emailed it to me, there was a price drop. Of like fifty thousand dollars, it went from four hundred oh, to right. four fifty, and um, I said, "Well, I'll reach out, but I'm reaching out to Ira. I'm not reaching out to the realtor on the thing because I've seen a lot of a lot of your videos where you actually tell people what not to do, and it just seemed like you were very, very genuine in, in your approach and everything. So I was like, if I'm going to deal with this all all the way from Maryland, I'm going to deal with Ira. You know, if he's too busy for me, then we're going to wait. But I'm going to deal with Ira." And um, right away, you, you know, you reached back out to me and... Um, Appreciate that. Yeah, man. And, and you know, you, you just kind of made it really so so simple and the process so simple. And you sent me great video, which I guess got 5,000 views. Like, I feel like everybody's been in my house now. You know? <laughs> uh, so all 5,000 have come from you. No, it's <laughs> been my wife. You know, I don't want to be 5,000. <laughs> But, um, and so, you know, that video was comprehensive enough to really give me a good enough idea that said, that said, you know, you know, you know, we, we may need to put some work into it, but right. So that's, that's kind of how I, I stumbled across you and, and you've been great to work with. And how long had you been, um, looking or just contemplating? How long has it been since you started looking? Yeah, since we had interest in the villages, period, yeah. was about two years. Two years. Yeah, yeah. But, but you know, I'm only, I'm 53 this year, so I had another two years to go. Right. You know, and then my daughter needs to graduate from high school, so um, I just wasn't planning on buying anything for another two years. Yeah. This deal was so, so good, so. It really was. So just to kind of give you um, a little idea about this home that he reached out to me on, I went out and looked at it first before, you know, before I even videoed it and kind of just did a little walkthrough on it. And uh, I identified, since I've been working, you know, here in the villages so long, I knew all the things to, to look for. And the home that he purchased is called a gardenia. And so there's a lot of um, stretches that can be done to a gardenia. There's a lot of options. It does have optional front elevation. Um, the front bedroom, guest bedroom in the uh, gardenia does not typically have a closet. Yeah. yeah. So um, so when, when I went in there, I mean, I noticed all the stretches yeah. to this home. The home was stretched to the front to uh, be able to include a guest, uh, uh, a closet, the closet in the guest bedroom. bedroom. Yeah. Then I noticed that the home was stretched to the side, you know, along that guest bedroom, guest bathroom, living room side. Yeah. That whole side was all stretched. Then the lanai that you have that they that they started to enclose. Yeah, do some work with that, but it's, <laughs> it's that was that. stretched out. I mean, 
This home is just stretched every which way you could possibly, even the garage It's got 20 foot garage door. Yeah. So, yeah. It's like this home was a monster. It was, so when he picked it out, I'm like, man, you got to jump. If you, if you're interested in buying, you really need to jump on yeah. this home. So he goes, all right, all right. I said, so let me take a video. And I went through, and I didn't sugarcoat anything yeah, because not at all. there was a lot of stuff that really, like the yard. The first thing you know, I I noticed was the yard was shot. Yeah, that's got to be redone. But I mean, but you know. once it is, it's going to be yeah gorgeous. It's, it's it's a great yard. I mean, it's a great lot. Yeah, it's, it's on the corner. Just, you know, you would need to redo the grass, but I would have done that anyway. I'm yeah, kind of grass guy. Anyway, so. Well, I am too, yeah, right? I, so, I noticed that. I'm like, man, I wanted to get over there with some weed and feed, right. you know, and, and spray some of them weeds down. And even when I saw it before you came here, I'm like, man, I gotta get over here. And yeah, I, I know he said he's gonna reach your hands on it, but I gotta put some spray down there, you know, because there's all these weeds over there. But um, so we were talking before we started our podcast and. You know, Jason started telling me all the things now that he wants to do to the home that because it's on an oversized corner home site, yeah. um, like stretch a room out to the to the side where the, the street is on the corner. And um, for his music room, he's a musician. I told him, I said, you need to bring your guitar and, and play something for everybody. But... <laughs> So tell us about that. What is it that uh, you plan on doing when you do, do when you do come here? Well, I you know I've been a musician my whole life, and um, so you know as I'm I'm playing up in Baltimore, D.C. area, um, you know I'm starting to notice more and more how I'm getting home at one or two o'clock in the morning, and the crowds that my that my band play for or, or seem to, to to get younger and younger, or I get older and older. <laughs> one of the two, I don't know. Maybe it's, it's kind of both. Yeah. So we visited the, the whole thing. This seems, you know, this whole area seems to be um, really centralized around around you know sort of you know what I call grown folks music, you know, rock, you know, grown folks rock music, and uh, that's what I play and that's what I do. So I was like, you know, I need to get down there because that's what I want to do. I want to. I'm leaving my band all together and just kind of going solo with my acoustic guitar and you know. Um, so I'm hoping to play, you know, all the city fires and all the, you know, all, all the local sort of sort all of the venues, venues and, yeah. yeah. And that's kind of what I what I want to do full time when I get down here. And um, so yeah, man, I'm look, looking forward to doing that. So one of the reasons that he bought this home now is you're gonna come down what every month or yeah yeah I'm gonna be down. Um, you know, it just depends on you know kind of what what schedule I start developing at some of the venues, and I'm just gonna come down for like a week at a time. I also work from home, so. Um, I, you know, uh, I'll be able to work while I'm down here, but my hope is to be able to get down there and, and really start doing some shows in the squares. Not, not, not on the, in the big squares, but just, just the surrounding venues. Um, and so, yeah, I'm just going to be flying back and forth and, and, and playing wherever I land, you know, and just go That's back That's cool. Forth. Yeah. Because I think I even question him about his timing, you know. Yeah. You're still two years out. Yeah. You're going to have this home down here. And he's like, oh, no, 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 I'm going to, I plan on coming down, I yeah. wanna, I'm going to make some contacts, I want to play some of the um, the City Fires and uh, and some of the other places yeah, where they World have. beer and stuff, I'm hoping, you know. I, so I brought, uh, you know, a whole PA system down here to leave here and a bunch of guitars just to leave here. I shouldn't say that, probably should I? <laughs> nah, um, uh, heavy security, big dog, I'm fine. Um, <laughs> no, um, but that way, you know, when I, when I just fly down, I'll have all the gear just to be able to go and do some do some shows and, and then fly back home. to Because I, I have a pretty hectic schedule back back home too so i'm just hoping to be able to book in the pockets of where i don't have i'm just not scheduled back in baltimore and come back and down here and play as much as possible and then when i'm here two years you know two years from now i just you know I just want to play it full time you know, yeah it's really great and, and, and you know I, I i feel like when i came down here that like oh wow i found my people like you know everybody gets <laughs> each other's jokes everybody's the same age everybody likes the same music it's just i don't know for me it was it was just like uh, I found like uh, this hidden you know gem you know here. It yeah, it's right. a captured right. audience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, you know, we're all it's like we're all a little bit like minded down here. So and, exactly. Uh, yeah. So like Jason and I were kind of talking about what kind of music we, you know, yeah. both of us kind of like, and 
I was telling them how I like classic rock, or there's a radio station that called that calls it iconic rock. Oh right? yeah, so, yeah, that's uh, about right. So I kind of like that better than you know the classic rock music, but um, alternative. Um, I don't think it, I think like us telling like Smashing Pumpkins yes. is, is a yeah. band that you know I enjoy, and Me too. Uh, Me too. so alternative um, adult rock music and. Yeah. Uh, so he's like, yeah, man, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's what that's what I play, man. Anywhere from, I mean, I you know I do some, I like all the animal bands. I, I do a lot of, I do some Beatles and monkeys and turtles and that kind of thing too. <laughs> but um, you know, I'm, I grew up in the '80s and you know doing Def Leppard, Bon Jovi, Miley Crew, Poison. I still I still do acoustic versions of all that. But, yeah, that's but great. But you know, all the grunge stuff too, Smashing Pumpkins, Alice in Chains. Yeah. Um, you know that kind of stuff. I, I do I do just a ton of that too. And and I got to thinking, I was like, man, you know, us all older people don't like. I'm like, wait a minute, we're, we all grew up together, we're all the same age together now, right? It, I keep thinking it. Lawrence Welk from my exactly. grandparents, but yeah. it's not the way it is, right? It's like, that's long gone. My wife is just play what you play, don't, don't you know? Yeah, because so, yeah. you'll listen, you'll walk like along the squares there, and uh, you hear that same music being yeah. piped out along, you know, in the squares, and you're like, yeah, well, yeah. I guess this is... Um, we, we, we came down and saw the Hooligans last time we were here. I really, really enjoyed them a lot, man. It was a really, really good band. It reminded me a little bit of, of, of my band back home and kind of what we do. So it's, it's a little bit that vibe, but a little bit more forward than that with respect to we do a lot of you know, 90s and a little bit of 2000s. But, you know, I, my radio broke in 2001. I never fixed it, so I never heard anything <laughs> after that, right? <laughs> but I think, you know... As the younger and younger crowd does kind of move into the yeah. villages, that um, yeah. mm -hmm. they're they're listening to that that right. type of music and looking for that. I mean, Rocky and the Rollers. Have you heard of that? Yeah, great band. I've seen them too. They are that is a really they do like some like some Chicago. They've got a huge things following. Like that. Yeah, man. They do. They're they do really well, man. man. I know um, when Katie Bell's was. When, uh, that place above Spanish Springs. Well, it wasn't even Urban. above, really. It was the whole building, wasn't it, in Spanish Springs? Exactly. It was, it was upstairs and downstairs. Yeah, yeah. Downstairs was the dance floor. They had a stage, and Rocky and the Rollers would be playing on there. And you could go upstairs. There was a bar. Like House of Blues or something. Yeah, yeah exactly. Wide open thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's awesome, man. And then they... <sighs> So that's one of the things I miss, that the villages kind of, they own that venue, obviously, and they just totally... It's like apartments now. Or something. Yeah, so I'm sad to hear that. They got rid of the... I need to make a list of, you know, some of my grievances here. <laughs> yeah. You know, they had three movie theaters. They've right. closed the Rialto. They closed the Barnstormer in um, Brownwood. I'm like... What's going on? Yeah, why don't we get some complaints together, some new rules that we yeah. can impose, and we can we'll go and we'll go and we'll propose this. Stuff. Well, that's why we have this <laughs> podcast and my YouTube. We have channel. a voice now, right? That's you know? right. And me, with my guitar and my PA, I'm pretty loud, you yeah. know, out there. So you know, between the two of us, we can broadcast, you know, a lot of noise. We got to be careful. <laughs> we got to keep you relevant out there. We don't want you to get black. Yeah, right? exactly. So, so we'll be good. He won't. He won't say anything. Nah. No, no, I'm kidding. I'm not a, I'm not a complainer. Matter of fact, we I'm, I'm one of these guys who gets really upset. Like we were we were at a restaurant last night. We were at a Red Sauce, and God, what a great restaurant! Oh my God, it was it was, it was one of the best meals I've had. And um, they, you know they were a little backed up for a minute or whatever. So you know the couple next to us was giving the um, waitress a hard time, like she could do anything about it. I have like the polar opposite of that, and I need to get more of a become more of a complainer because sometimes it, you, oh, you know, think the squeaky wheel gets yeah the yeah but I, I just can't bring myself to do that i i feel so bad for just this person nature yell that you know you know over there for something she didn't do so i'm like tipping her extra even though she never brought my food really but yeah <laughs> that's what mean. you should have said dude if you're really you know in a hurry give her a 50 and you're good to yeah go. exactly you know, i mean broad your way in yeah let's <laughs> use our heads about this <laughs> No, there's just a lot of good, happy people here, though, man. I just, the, the spirit here is just one of the biggest reasons why we came around. Walking around the squares and just you see everybody smiling and having a good time. Man, I'm, I, you know, I'm from Baltimore, D.C. area, man. Everybody's miserable. <laughs> wow, <know>? that's rough. <laughs> 
it's it's just I love I love the spirit here, and then, and so far I just love the people. I've met all my neighbors; are just the nicest people, you know, that I've that I've that I've met, and uh, it's just been a great experience so far, man. I'm, I'm looking forward to living here full time. And you promised your neighbors that you were going to fix the place up. Yeah, yeah. I, t I told them. I said, you know, I apologize for whatever <laughs> I saw. This has been, uh, but I'm, you know, we're ripping the whole grass out and putting sod and redoing the beds yeah. and, and everything and make it pretty. Because my neighbors are all like, they're like you and I. They're like grass guys. I mean, yeah. they're like meticulous. It's right. beautiful yards. So I'm all embarrassed. They're coming over, shaking my head. I'm looking behind me, going, "Just, just give me a minute." <laughs> exactly. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll be fine. Yeah. yeah. So, <clears throat> what else you plan on doing? Like when I did the video mm -hmm. for you, and yeah. I, you know, and I went ahead. Well, I, I did the walkthrough video for you as well. Yeah. Um, when I kind of tested everything. You're so thorough. You're way more thorough than I, I would ever be, have been myself. But yeah, thank you for that, by the way. Yeah, I mean, and like, I tested the wash, was it the... Yeah, the, well, you, fixed, you fixed the garbage disposal. <laughs> I almost had to put pause when you stuck your hand down into the... Uh, Oh, and this disposal. Yeah. I'm like, ah, right, don't do that, dude. There's gonna be electrical thing, and it's gonna be a horror movie. But it completely fixed it. The inspection, the inspection report said that it was completely broken. I need to replace it. Yeah. And then I'm watching you with your hand down there, and next thing you know, it's, it's works just fine, man. So yeah, I got my little trusty little case. Yeah, and, man. So, yeah. yeah. Um, what am I gonna do? How you know? Housewise, you mean? Like, you know, so just house? so everybody knows, um, this this house needed some work. Yeah. They started to enclose the lanai. They put some um, windows around, but they built it up on a, a, a wood subfloor platform rather than, you know, doing the way most everybody does, pour concrete. And then I guess the windows are kind of... They're, they're below the floor. Yeah, 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 this much below the floor. Well, right now I'm using it as a trampoline. Like when I, you know, I can, because you can sort of bounce on it and, and that's pretty cool. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's what I'm, that's, that, that is part of what we're going to do. Um, we're going to replace all those windows in the back. I'm going to get real good bronze, heavier, mm -hmm. um, Lanai, cause it's a beautiful Lanai. It really is. And then I'm going to rip that floor out. At first I thought I was going to keep the Lanai and just step down or whatever, but I kind of like what his, his thought was about keep it, keeping it all even. So we have to get in there and pour concrete mm -hmm. and then I'm going to rip all the, and I know he's probably, you know, somebody's. Up there is mad at me for this, but I'm gonna rip all that new flooring out there, and we're gonna put some, you know, we're gonna tile the whole house, you know, with some new tile, and we're going to. I actually love the kitchen cabinets. I think they're beautiful. I love the way they're stacked. But we're gonna do, um, you know, new granite, new flooring, new front door. Let's let's do this. Um, let's go ahead and we're gonna roll some footage. Okay. Of uh, let's see, should we roll the? Um, we'll just we'll roll the. Um, the footage, some of the footage of the house when um, I went ahead and did the original yeah. video. So let's go ahead and, and check that out for a second so you understand what Jason's talking about. All right, so again, like I said, this is the Gard Gardenia model. And this is what it looks like as we come on into the foyer. Tile, floors. Now, these gardenias don't normally have a um, closet in this front bedroom. So this home has been stretched to the front, uh, probably another four feet to accommodate, or at least two feet to accommodate this uh, closet. Tile floors in the kitchen. More Corian countertops. So a little bit of a <clears throat> mismatched appliance package. Obviously you're looking at a stainless steel refrigerator, but you have a white dishwasher and an off-white uh, range and oven, and then another stainless steel uh, microwave so that's a starter anyways so you have the uh, tiered cabinets which is real nice 
And this is your view as you're standing in the kitchen. This is probably one of the issues of why this home got lowered. So what they did was they took the sliding glass door out of here and opened up the lanai to the rest of the house. As you can see, this big walled area. So what I'm looking at is it used to be pocket doors, right? So this is what the um, listing agent is saying, that they started this process, but they didn't finish it. If somebody was to come in here, they're going to want to take this out because this is just where the slider is pocketed into there. And they actually made some shelving. So they started making shelving rather than removing all of that around, which we see is all frame. If we look over there, those are just two by four pressure treated two by four framing. So there's a few little clips on uh, what I did in the uh, original, the first video to kind of show, you know, some of the th things about the home, the cabinets that Jason was just talking about. And um, so, yeah, there was a lot to love about this yeah. home, but, you know, it was also, you know, some things they took the um, sliding glass doors out, and, like we said, and built that platform up. Um, but they never trimmed it out, you yeah. know, so it just, you know, he knew, I mean, I got everything uh, on that video, so as we're, we're showing you here, that, um, so there was not, did, was there, were there any surprises? No, man, no, I mean, you know, you know how when you, when you walk into a house, there's, there's typically, you know, just a vibe or a feeling, um, and, and the second I walked in, I was like so relieved because the, it was very, very good. It, it just felt great to be in there. Um, no, man, not really at all. I mean, um, you know, the, the, there was some, some little surprises because it was one of the turnkey houses, so they leave everything. Oh, yeah, that's right. There's always, always a statue or something. You're like, oh, yeah, that furniture. Out. But, uh, but in terms of, like, the house itself, no, man. We're, we've just been doing it all as much as we can in the little time that we have this week here. You know, we're you know, service in the AC where, you know, we had to, had to clean home cleaning, cleaning people come out. Um, we've just, Oh, I got a golf cart. So couldn't Oh, cool. Got to have a golf cart. Yeah. We just, <laughs> we, we've done a lot for the economy here since we've been here for three days for sure. Yeah. Um, but it's uh, no man, it was, it was exactly, you told, there was no room for surprises because you told me either by a video or a phone call, everything that I was going to run into, and sort of gave me the option of, you know, do, are you sure you, you're okay with this and this looks like that? And, oh, I did notice this and are you okay with that? And, you know, like you, like you probably remember, I, I said, well, no, I plan on replacing those appliances anyway, so mm -hmm. I'm not concerned. But, but no, it's it's very pleasantly surprised that um, so far, man, we, you know, we love it. I don't want to go back home. To <laughs> yeah, well... I understand that. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be raining and snowing when I get there. Whenever I look at homes, though, I always look at everything from a resale value. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so I want to make sure that you're going to get your money's worth out of a home. Any money that you spend on this home, um, you'll always get it back and then something. I think so, yeah. I mean, because you got a really good deal on the home itself. Right. All the stretches um, and everything that that, the structural features that this home comes with, everything else is kind of cosmetic. It's just great. It is. This yeah. home even came with a hot tub. It did. It did. We're, yep. We're working that situation out now. It's a nice hot tub, too. It's a pretty big one. They, and who, the, the previous owner built a wall, a privacy wall. Yeah. yeah. So they built this privacy wall up around off the back of the home and then put the hot tub in there. And then the lanai comes off of that. And, uh, yeah, man, it was like... It, <laughs> and, and, and the first time you went in there, you didn't even realize that it was uh, turnkey, like they were leaving everything right. until we talked the next time. I didn't either the first time. And then my wife says, by the way, you know, I'm like, are you serious? And so, um, yeah, man, it was just, a, it was a really good deal at the right time. 
And fortunately, I had been watching your videos and long enough where I, you didn't know me, but I, I felt I just had a trust with you um, in watching the videos. And then certainly after we had a couple conversations, I mean, it was no yeah. Longer, so I, um, yeah, man. It, it, and at least I didn't make you take me around to like forty nine houses before <laughs> I said that's the one, right? It, it was it was beautiful. Yeah, it was perfect, man. It Everything was, just it was so smooth. The whole process, man, was just it was a dream for me and a dream for yeah, you. Yeah, it was great, man. Everything was, it just worked out perfect, man. So um, when did we close on this home? Last week, like last Wednesday, is when I went to. So about a week ago. Yeah, and I went to closing up north. You know, they did a yeah. mobile closing. I didn't even have to come down here for it. Jason didn't step foot in Florida. No. The whole time, from the time he called me about the home, we went ahead and, and did all did the contract. He signed everything up there to him electronically. Signed the contract. Sent the um, the closing documents up there. He. Was it, um, did you e-sign those or did you have a stack of... No, I went to... Um, oh, yeah. We had, we had like a notary come out, you know, and uh, I met him at the, uh, the, the the mortgage holder's office and it didn't take but five or ten minutes. Normally it takes six hours and you're ready to die by the end of it. It's a little easier these days <laughs> yeah. than it used to be. And um, man, it, was just, it was just as smooth as, as it could be. And now, I would have never done this had you not been so thorough in our communication in the videos and all this kind of stuff. That's why I told her, I said, I'm not doing this with some realtor I don't know. And we, I didn't know you, but I knew you well enough. Um, but man, I, I, I was definitely not disappointed in the whole thing because I mean, it was just so smooth. It's exactly what I, what you told me it was when I got down here is what it was. Um, matter of fact, I called you, you know, as soon as I got here, yep, everything's cool, you know, yeah. but, uh, but it's just been great, man. It's, it's, That's just, great. I just don't think that can you know, so a lot of people I'm sure that are watching this are probably cringing. They're like, I could never buy a home without setting foot in the house. I, you know, I can't say sight unseen because you saw, you yeah, know, I, saw it. I did everything so I you could. You could see it. Yeah, through video. But he never stepped foot in the home. I mean, he trusted, you know, what yeah. I was going to tell him. And, um, you know, and just for the record, I mean, I'm not here just to sell somebody a home. I'm going to make sure it's the right home. And if that wasn't the right home, I would have told you. you well, I've know. seen you tell people that on video before. Yeah. You know what I mean? This is not the right, this is not the place for you. And, and I know it probably cost you some money by doing that, but in the long run, it's just, it was the right thing to do. I mean, yeah. you know, I, I, you know, so. This is the villages, right? And, you know, people have... They have options, right? They can buy a home through the village's sales office if they want to, which I don't get any part of, uh, of that. That's just the risk I take working here in this community. But at the end of the day, I've got to be able to sleep at night, yeah, right? So I want to make sure that, you know, we're able to do this podcast together because, you know, and just kind of tell everybody how, you know, how your experience was. Yeah. Because um, this is the only way I can really get across uh, how I can help people and use my expertise. You know, with the 24 years that I've been selling homes as a as a real estate agent here um, in the villages and as a contractor and as a license as a home, home inspector. inspector. That's so a yeah, I'm gonna go. And um, but you know, so did we? We did a home inspection, right? Yeah, we did a home inspection, and then you came behind it. Yeah, because yeah. <laughs> so that's the thing, you know. I don't want there to be a conflict of interest. Me doing a home inspection no. on a home that I'm selling. So I, I absolutely say, hey, go ahead, pay a home inspector. Yeah. I'll come behind them because there's been times that I found things that home inspectors haven't caught, right? So. Um, so, you know, it's, you're just, you're, you're safe and, um, you know, having me go through on the walkthrough. And I just came from a walkthrough from somebody who wanted me to do a walkthrough on a brand new home for them. Um, that the villages sold them. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, so I was more than happy to, to help people out doing that. Yeah, I, I think it's like, it's, it's, you know, if you can imagine, you know, moving here and flying back and forth and seeing house after house. 
Um, it's one it's one thing for you to put your eyes on it. I understand that because that was a little bit of anxiety for me too. But it, honestly, it's a little bit better to have it this way because you're. Um, what you're seeing in a home is going to be a lot more comprehensive than what I'm going to see if I'm just out looking at houses. I'm just looking at the fancy granite and you know this is that. Right. Um, you're, the, the way that you, you were kind of digging into it was actually a little safer than me just coming out here looking at houses myself. So if you look at it that way, it's really, it's like you have eyes on the ground, but eyes that know what they're doing and what they're looking for. So um, to me, I, think, I thought it was a great way to do it. Cool. So what we're going to do is um, right now I'm going to kind of give you a little bit of a, um, a little clip on what I do when I do my walkthroughs. So we just showed you a little bit of um, the original, the, the first video that you saw. And then this is a little bit of the walkthrough. So we'll go ahead and cue that in. Today we are going to do a walkthrough for Jason and Karen. So just a little history on this. Jason gave me a call and um, he never met him. And he saw this home online, asked me if I would go by and check it out for him, which I did. And then he wanted me to give him my opinion because he thought it was a really good deal compared to other homes that he has seen online. And uh, yeah, this is actually a great home at a great price as you're getting ready to see in this walkthrough. Let's go on in here. So this home does have some work. They've actually put some framing underneath this flooring to bring it up to the same height. Um, probably not my way of, of doing things, but I, I would definitely have probably poured some concrete in here. This is floor is going to have to be ripped up anyways. Um, there is some damage to it. Also, you can see how it steps down. There is a little um, area here for the uh, hot tub. Okay. So um, this is nice to give you privacy for your hot tub area. And just a little patio out there. But you can see how they have framed this floor up to try to make it even with the rest of the house. All right, everybody. So um, this is kind of what I do. And Jason was gracious enough to say, hey, if you want me to come in, talk about my experience, I'd be more than happy to do that. So, oh man, I really appreciate you coming in. And I appreciate everything you did for, me, for, for my wife and I. Man. Really and I'm still here for you. So if you yeah. need any suggestions of contractors who might need to help you or um, you know, a list of whatever trades that you need or anything, anytime you need something, you know, you could always yeah, call man, me. Okay. That. So we're going to go ahead and wrap this podcast up with jason doing what he does best this is jason and go ahead and enjoy this little clip here